let's look at some questions for the advanced level based on the exponents and powers so the question says if we are given that 2 is equal to 10 raised to power m and 3 is equal to 10 raised to power n we need to find the value of 0.15 in terms of m and n <coughs> we need to arrange these numbers in descending order and we need to evaluate this expression so some more questions that we have on the advanced level if x is equal to y raised to power z y is equal to z raised to power x z is equal to x raised to power y we need to find out the value of x y and z now again if we're given something 2 raised to power x is equal to 4 raised to power y is equal to 8 raised to power z and x y z is equal to 288 we need to find out the value of this expression and the last question for the advanced level is if we are given this we need to find out the value of 1 by b plus 1 by c let's now look at the solutions for these questions so now 2 is equal to 10 raised to power n and 3 is equal to 10 raised to power n now how do we find out the value of 0.15 we first write 0.15 as 15 by 100 and simplify it which becomes 3 by 20 and 20 can be written as 2 into 10 so now we'll replace the values of 3 and 2 by 10 raised to power n and 10 raised to power m respectively so we get 0.15 is equal to 10 raised to power n divided by 10 into 10 raised to power m so we have 10 into 10 raised to power m So 0.15 becomes 10 raised to the power n minus m minus 1. So that's the answer. Let's now move on to the second question of the advanced level. We need to arrange these numbers in their descending order. The numbers are root 5, cube root of 2 and the fourth root of 3. Now the first thing that we need to see is that these numbers, the first number is the square root of 5, the second number is the third root of 2 and third number is the fourth root of 3. So now since these numbers cannot be compared directly because the numbers, the base is different and the power to them is also different. So when we want to compare them and arrange them in the descending or ascending order, what we need to do is we should either bring the base to the same value or the power to the exponent to the same value for all these numbers. So in this case, what we do here is we bring them to the same power. Now what, what do we do for that is the power for this for 5 this is 1 by 2 power for 2 is 1 by 3 and the power for 3 is 1 by 4 so now to bring them to same power we take the LCM of 2 3 and 4 and the LCM is 12 now we can change all these numbers to their 12th root and then we'll be able to compare them so to change root 5 into something which is 12th root of a number we get 5 raised to the power 6 whole root 12 now how do we get that so changing root 5 to some number raised to the power 1 by 12 means we have 5 raised to power some unknown number which is let's say a whole raised to the power 1 by 12 and that should be equal to 5 raised to the power 1 by 2 so that using the law of exponent it obviously gives us that a will be equal to 6 so we get the required number 5 raised to the power 6 whole raised to the power 1 by 12 similarly we change q 
cube root of 2 to 2 raised to the power 4 whole raised to the power 1 by 12 and the fourth root of 3 get changed to 3 cube whole raised to power 1 by 12. So now we have the numbers as 5 raised to power 6 whole 12th root and then 12th root of 2 raised to power 4 and 12th root of 3 raised to power 3. Now we have to arrange them in the descending order. So then these numbers are equivalent to 1, 5, 6, 2, 5, 12th root of this, 12th root of 16 and 12th root of 27. And we can clearly see since the roots of the three numbers are the same, the largest number would be the largest base would be the largest number. So the descending order would be 1, 5, 6, 2, 5, 12th root is the largest and then 12th root of 27 and then 12th root of 16. So now that gives us that square root of 5 is greater than 4th root of 3 and that is greater than cube root of 2. Let's now move on to the third question of the advanced level. We need to evaluate the expression 1 upon 1 plus x raised to power a minus b plus 1 upon 1 plus x raised to power b minus a. So now first of all, we'll change this x raised to power a minus b to x raised to power a divided by x raised to power b. Similarly, x raised to power b minus a will be changed to x raised to power b by x raised to power a. So this expression will become 1 upon 1 plus x raised to power a divided by x raised to power b plus 1 upon 1 plus x raised to power b divided by x raised to power a. So now if we simplify this and we take this x raised to power b in the denominator to, x to the numerator, we get the term x raised to power b divided by x raised to power b plus x raised to power a. Similarly, we take this x raised to power a to the numerator and we get the second term as x raised to power a divided by x raised to power a plus x raised to power b. Now, if we see this carefully, the denominator in this, in the first term is same as denominator in the second term. So, we can simply add the numerators to get the sum of these two and we get x raised to power b plus x raised to power a whole divided by x raised to power a plus x raised to power b which is nothing but 1. Let's now look at the solution for the next question. The fourth question uh, we are given we are provided with this that x is equal to y raised to power z y is equal to z raised to power x and z is equal to x raised to power y. We need to find out the value of x, y and z. So we replace the value of y in the first one. The first is x raised to power x is equal to y raised to power z. We replace the value of y in this equation and y is given to be z raised to power x. So it becomes x is equal to z raised to power x whole raised to power z. Now we get x is equal to z raised to power xz using the law of exponent. Now we again replace the base z. We don't replace the value of z in the exponent but we only replace the value of z in the base. And we get x is equal to x raised to power y and whole raised to power xz which becomes x is equal to x raised to power xyz. So that means x, y, z is equal to 1 because x raised to power 1 is equal to x raised to power x, y, z. So x, y, z is equal to 1 is the answer. So let's now move on to the fifth question. 
the question says that if 2 raised to power x is equal to 4 raised to power y is equal to 8 raised to power z and x y z is equal to 288 then we need to find the value of the expression 1 by 2x plus 1 by 4y plus 1 by 8z now let's see how do we proceed about it so first thing that we do is we change the base of all of these in this equality we change the base of all of these to 2 and then we get 2 raised to power x is equal to 2 raised to power 2y is equal to 2 raised to power 3z and now since the base is the same we can equate their exponents and that will give us x is equal to 2y is equal to 3z now getting the value of y and z in terms of x we get y is equal to x by 2 and z is equal to x by 3 now we'll replace the values of y and z in this expression which is x y z is equal to 288 in this equation we'll put the value of y and z and we get x into x by 2 into x by 3 is equal to 288 now simplifying this we get x cube is equal to 288 into 6 because we got the 6 from the denominator of the left hand side to the right hand side so x becomes cube root of 1728 which makes x is equal to 12 y is equal to x by 2 so y is equal to 6 and z is equal to x by 3 which makes it z equal to 4 so now getting the value of this expression 1 by 2x plus 1 by 4y plus 1 by 8z we replace the values of x y and z we get 1 by 24 plus 1 by 24 plus 1 by 32 and that gives us 96 in the denominator as the LCM of 24 and 32 and we get 4 plus 4 plus 3 in the numerator and hence the answer is 11 by 96. So let's look at the last question of the advanced level. The question is 2.3 raised to the power a is equal to 0.23 raised to the power b is equal to 10 raised to power c and we need to find out the value of 1 by b plus 1 by c. So if we take the first and the last one of this equality we can say that 2.3 we actually have 2.3 raised to the power a is equal to 10 raised to power c so that gives us 2.3 is equal to 10 raised to power c by a and now we take the second and the third one of this equality and that gives us 0.23 is equal to 10 raised to power c by b now if we divide the first this first where we got the value of 2.3 by this second where we got the value of 0.23 we get 2.3 divided by 0.23 is equal to 10 raised to power c by a divided by 10 raised to power c by b and that gives us 10 is equal to 10 raised to the power c by a minus c, c by b and since the base are the same we will again equate the exponents of the two sides so that gives us c by a minus c by b is equal to 1 and we now divide this whole expression with c so c reaches the denominator of the right hand side and we get 1 by a minus 1 by b is equal to 1 by c so 1 by b plus 1 by c is equal to 1 by a so this is the value that we were looking for Friends, I hope you enjoyed the session. If you find it useful, please like it and share it with your friends. You can visit us at our Cool Smart Learning website and post your queries there. And please subscribe to the Cool Smart Learning channel for getting updates on the new sessions. Thank you.